We have a news for Jack's health alert for those of you who routinely ride the JTA bus along routes 22, 26, and 28, but specifically this past Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Those are routes through the Moncrief area, Argyle Forest, and Southside. JTA has announced a driver who operates a bus on those routes has tested positive for COVID-19. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avigny joining us live from the JTA bus terminal downtown with more information about this infected driver. Eric? Yes, well, we know that infected driver picked up and dropped off passengers here at the downtown terminal at Bays K and Bay H and then went on his normal route. So anyone who may have been riding with this driver may want to keep a watchful eye on their health uh, to make sure that they're not uh, showing signs or developing signs or symptoms of COVID-19. This bus stop on Sutel Drive is one of the locations where the infected driver picked up and dropped off passengers. Angela Rogers is a frequent bus rider who usually picks up the bus at this stop on her way home from work. She didn't know a driver on the route tested positive for COVID-19 until we told her. Give you a little pause to worry about your own health right now? Yeah, I do, because I deal with patients. I'm a home health aide, so I deal with people. So yes, I have to be cautious with my clients that I take care of. According to JTA, the infected employee drove this route on Monday and Wednesday and a route on the south side on Tuesday. That driver is currently receiving medical care and is also in quarantine. JTA says other employees thought to have come in contact with that infected driver have been sent home for a two-week mandatory quarantine. A two-week quarantine is pretty much standard nowadays when a person is thought to have come in contact with another person who is confirmed to have the virus. While it's unclear if the driver got infected while on the job or on his personal time, JTA says all employees will continue to wear protective equipment while at work. JTA also says work areas the driver came in contact with during the past seven days, including his bus, were deep cleaned and disinfected. But while this news may come as a concern for passengers like Angela Rogers, another passenger we spoke with who also rides this route is not worried. My God, I'm covered by the Holy Spirit of God, so ain't nothing going to happen to me. Now, despite what that man just said, uh, uh, medical experts are cautioning everyone to uh, wear a mask when you're in public uh, and also wash your hands and get this if you are uh, taking a bus it's not a bad idea to keep gloves on your hands especially if you need to grab a hold of something to get on or off the bus reporting live in downtown Jacksonville Eric Avenier Channel 4 the local station